Hi, so I wanted to do a, a video showing my Ojo Sonyo album collection. Um, this is the fourth time that I'm filming this, so if I sound like defeated or tired, it's because I am. Um, yeah, that's why I'm not probably going to sound the greatest in this video. Hi, this is editing me. I just wanted to pop in here and say that the audio for this video is very crazy <laughs> and you're gonna hear a lot of like popping sounds and like wind sounds and the reason is just because i bought a new mic and this mic is also extremely sensitive so every noise i make it picks it up <laughs> um so i'm very sorry about that uh hopefully the music over my annoying ass voice will help it at least a little bit next video i i definitely should have it fixed but yeah that's pretty much it for me but I am going to go over every single album that I have. I don't have all of their albums, but if I don't show certain albums, it is just because I don't have them. For example, I'm not going to be showing For the Summer because sadly I don't have them. I tend to focus more on photo cards than buying albums. I honestly like uh, photo cards more than I do albums, but after I finish photo cards, I am planning on going back and purchasing all of the albums that I'm missing. Um, so yeah, that is why I do not have um, a lot of their albums, but I do have a good chunk. So let us get started. I am going to be going over um, album packaging as well as just overall aesthetics and also songs. So yeah, we're going to do like a little in-depth look at all of these albums. I'm definitely not going to be doing like a full <laughs> unboxing style, but I will be flipping through some of the photo book. We start off with Would You Like, their first mini album, and also their debut album. Even though the title tracks are a little bit weird, <laughs> I really like them. I think that they were a perfect debut, even though they are kind of strange. <laughs> um, I think they really showed off their duality. As for album packaging, I absolutely hate, with a passion, slipcovers. Um, yeah, slipcovers are gonna be the death of me. And Ojo Sonio love to use slipcovers. I do not understand why they use so many slipcovers, but yeah. So, not a big fan of the slipcover, but I do enjoy this slipcover just because it does kind of add something to the packaging. It's not just like a clear case. As for overall aesthetics, I mean, I love pink, so <laughs> this is perfect for me. As I just said, I really like Momo Mo and Catch Me, but my favorite B-side has to be TikTok. I really like TikTok. This is also when they started doing Chinese versions of the title tracks, which I honestly really miss. I think they haven't done that since Dream Your Dream era, but moving on. The second thing I really do not like about this album is that it has an entire photo book made up of postcards. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I do not like postcards in general, so having an entire photo book of postcards is honestly not my favorite. This photo shoot makes up for it because it is very, very cute. Uh, they are all tiny. <laughs> I love Yoram's blush in this photo shoot. Um, but I really like how each member kind of got their own solo postcard and yeah even though this this concept is very simple i do enjoy it oh she's so cute yeah i miss ot13 so much i think we all miss ot13 um here is the units yeah the units that they never use we got wonder unit joy unit sweet unit and natural unit um and then in the back here we have an ot13 pick i just miss them so much but yeah, that's pretty much what you like. Not my favorite album um, in terms of packaging, but as I was saying, <laughs> I keep getting robocalls and it's extremely annoying. But um, as I was saying, not my favorite album in terms of packaging, but it does make up for it just with overall aesthetics and the music. So yeah, that was what you like. Next is The Secret, and I absolutely love The Secret. I think not only that this packaging is very good, except the slipcover, obviously, um, but all the songs on this album are very good, and obviously The Secret is an iconic 
title track so i mean what is there not to love um i absolutely love this holographic it's so pretty and also as for songs obviously we all know secret is such a good title track but my favorite two songs are bebe and robot this packaging also has a downside though and that is that it is a fingerprint magnet if you like touch this uh yeah your fingerprints are gonna be all over it <laughs> and also it is let me see if i can show you but this slip cover is impossible to take off just because they have it so tightly packed in this that it's so <laughs> I'm struggling. It's so hard to get off. Um, and that's also why I don't open this album very often, which is very sad. I really enjoy this photo shoot. I think it's super pretty um, and really goes well with the cosmic theme. As for this photo shoot, I'm honestly not a big fan. It gives me like 2014 Tumblr Girl vibes. Uh, yeah, even with the flower crowns, it's just... Not my favorite, but, you know, the girls look super cute as always, so. Oh, look at Xiao. She's so cute with her forehead out. I miss Xiao in, in um, Ojo Sonyo so much, but yeah, that was the secret. Next is Happy Moment, and this is their only full album, which is questionable. I mean, Starship, what are you doing? <laughs> um, but uh, I absolutely adore this album like i love this album so much um i think this is my favorite Ojo Sonyo album ever i absolutely love happy i love every single b-side on this this album um and the music video is just like chef kiss so much it's so good if you haven't listened to this album please do it is just i can't express how much i love this album um as for as overall aesthetics I'm honestly not the biggest fan of the artwork this era just because it looks a little bit tacky but I understand what they were going for because it does match the theme. This album also came in two versions and I only have one version sadly um, but I do have the moment version and there is a happy version. As for album packaging I really enjoyed this album packaging. I really like how they made it look like a book which is very funny. My favorite b-side on this album is we all know follow me but my second favorite is Sugar. As for the inside of this album, this album also did come with a lot of inclusions, so that was very nice. And as for the photo book, it is very short, as you can see, it's very small, but I absolutely love this photo book. This concept is super cute just because of how candid the shots look and how colorful everything is. Like, can you all tell that I am a happy woman stand? Like, really, it's just so good. Um, but yeah, that's happy moment. Next is Dream Your Dream. And if you know me, Dream Your Dream is the era that I got into Ojo Sonyo, like fully bolting. Um, this album is just like perfect. Um, I really like this uh, design. I don't know what you would call it. I know it has a certain name for it. Um, but this is also when they kind of got into the Greek kind of inspired stuff. Um, as for songs, Dreams Come True is just overall, like, I keep saying amazing, but yeah, it's amazing. And the music video was honestly, was good, but we all know how they tinted it blue so much that it looks absolutely crazy. Yeah, if you're not an Ojong, I will put it on screen right now. It is absolutely, like, ridiculous how much they tinted that, um, but... My favorite b-side on this album is renaissance and yeah just an overall great album music wise as for packaging this came in three versions i only have one um obviously because i'd be showing you the other two versions i love this holographic effect i think it i think it's a cool touch um and it's not a slip cover so yeah we won <laughs> the inside is very pretty too i love this kind of like vintage um distressed i guess you would call it Kind of look that they did on the photo book as well as the photo cards as for the photo shoot it is probably one of my favorite photo shoots ever um i absolutely love this photo shoot it's just so pretty with the clouds and stuff and this photo shoot is although it's very simple i do enjoy it because it is very on brand for the concept um and all the members just look oh my god i'm losing my voice <laughs> um all the members just look stunning like 
Look at this. Like that one. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, that was this photo book. And, and that also concludes the album. But yeah, dream or dream, two thumbs up. Next is Would You Please? And this came in three versions as well. And I mean, we all know. This is when they went back to the slip covers, which is so sad. Like, why did they have to go back to the slip covers? Um, but yeah, this album does have a slip cover, although it is not as tight as the other ones, so they did do a better job. <laughs> as for this packaging and aesthetic wise, um, I actually quite like the green. I know it's kind of, I don't know, I feel like a lot of people wouldn't like this green, but I do like how they paired it with this purple. I think even though it doesn't look like they would go together, they somehow do, and that's really pretty to me. As for songs, Save Me, Save You is just, like, a great title track. I mean, we all know and love it. Even if you are not Ojong, you know Save Me, Save You. My favorite B-side is You, 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 and Masquerade. So, yeah, just a great album. If you haven't listened to this album, which I'd be shocked if you haven't, um, it's just very good. This cover is so pretty. I don't I don't know why, but I just love this kind of like abstract shapes. I don't know. It's just so good. And the inside is very green. Um as for the inside and the photo book, this photo book is honestly not my favorite just because it looks like they used the same set for the whole thing. Um I really like how they styled everyone. I just think it looks very very pretty and elegant, but as for the actual photo book itself, I'm not the biggest fan of this one. Um, the colors are super pretty though. I really enjoy the colors. That was a very quick flip through of Would You Please. Next is La La Love, and I absolutely love this version. It did come in three versions, as we already know, but this version is so pretty. I just love this orange ombre. It looks like a sunset. It's so good. Um, and also it has this cool texture. I don't know if you could see that, but yeah, it's very cool texture. And the photo book is very thick and we love that. We love thick photo books around here. Um, as for songs, my favorite song is You Got and Cantable. I really love those B-sides. Um, as for A Lot of Love, honestly, um, not my favorite title track, but I love all of Ojo Sonio's title tracks. So that's not really saying much. Um, as for the inside, it is so pretty, like, I can't get over how pretty this is. The photo book is just even more pretty, I love all of the flowers and the orange that they used, and the members just look absolutely beautiful, like, they are so cute. This Tu Jung photo, it's just so good, um, but yeah, this is the photo book, and this is one of my favorite physical albums. I just love this album so much. We continue on with As You Wish, and As You Wish does come with three versions. Again, I only have one. As You Wish is a solid album. I really like the title track. I love the music video. This album does come with a fiddle flaw, though, and that is... Yes, it is a slipcover. Um, yeah, I enjoy this packaging even though it is very simple i do like how elegant it looks my favorite uh, b-side is la kitty cat but all of these b-sides are very good too um as for the inside i do kind of give them props though because um the slipcase is easy to take off so i will give you that starship um, as for the front cover, I really like the details on this and the gold kind of, um, accents. And I am honestly not the biggest fan of this photo book just because, um, the styling is a little off and also the backdrop is very strange. Like, they just went into a house and said, we're gonna start taking pictures of you now. <laughs> but, um, obviously the girls look beautiful as always um but yeah some of the styling is just very questionable like luda's socks and with this outfit is i mean do we have to say anything it's just very weird <laughs> but um overall not the worst photo book but also nothing spectacular but yeah that was as you wish
Next, we get into their most recent comeback, and that is Neverland, and I have all three versions for this album. A lot of people said that this front cover was and looked very messy, but I actually like how they designed this. I think it's really pretty. What I'm not a big fan of is the colors. I think that they don't go very well with this kind of like magical forest theme. Um, yeah, I just don't think that they picked the right colors for this. But for the photo books, this photo book is my absolute favorite. I absolutely love this photo book. I think this is my favorite um, WJSN photo book ever. I just love how they styled each member. They just look so ethereal. And this set, even though it is very simple, it just works so well. It's just so pretty. They look like fairies. It's so pretty. But that was the first chapter. Butterfly is probably my least favorite title track from Utrosono. But again, that's not saying very much because even the my least favorite is still a really good title track. Um, but my favorite two B-sides are, you know, Pantomime and Car Garden. Um, yeah, they're just very, very, very good B-sides. I really enjoy this pink. Um, again, it doesn't really fit the theme, but I love my pink, so. <laughs> And this is probably my least favorite photo book. I love how um, like vintage they look and elegant, but I think with the theme, I don't know, just not my favorite. Um, I love this, the freckles that they put on Luda. It's so cute. Um, but yeah, this photo book, again, not my favorite, but still really, really pretty. Oh, that sound. Uh, I didn't like that. Um, lastly is chapter three. This blue is pretty, but again, doesn't go well with the theme. Um, but I really enjoyed this photo book. I think that they styled all the members really, really well. Um, I absolutely love this hair on Subin. It's so pretty. And this outfit is so cute on Dayong. Oh, I just love it. Um, but yeah, this photo book is probably one of my favorite photo books. I keep saying that, but <laughs> I mean, they don't really have any bad photo books. And then I thought I would include this just because this is WJSN. This is Chokume, their unit, their subunit. Um, and I absolutely adore these albums, even though they have nasty slipcovers. <laughs> Um, I really like the design of this. I love the graphic design. It's just so pretty and the colors and all the placements are just like so good uh, Oh, that was extremely loud. Oh, oh my god um, It does come with an extra kind of CD thing, which is kind of interesting. Usually SM does that so <laughs> It's just it's something different um, as for photo books I really love these photo books. I think that these are so good. I love this ribbon concept and I love the little extra things that they put, um, like borders and stuff like that. I think it just adds very a lot to the um, already pretty photo book. This one is also really pretty. I love the colors for this one too. Um, and the mascot is just so cute. For the track list for this album, Humph is honestly laced with something <laughs> like I think. Uh, it is so addictive. Even if you don't like the song, you will have it stuck in your head for the entire day. And Ya 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 is such a good um, cover. I really like this version too. The candy version is so good. I love the uh, styling that they did and the little accessories and Luda's hair is so pretty. And yeah, everyone just looks super cute. And yeah, so Chokome are... The, the physical albums are so good, minus the slipcover, but <laughs> what can you do, I guess? I am working on a uh, Organize My Photo Card Binder With Me video, um, like adding new photo cards and stuff in. I am this close to finishing my Odrasono album collection, which is very, very, very cool. Um, I honestly didn't think that I would be finishing it anytime soon. But I'm so close, so yeah, that's going to be very exciting. And yeah, I will see you next week.